Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Woody from Toy Story. So let's get started. To draw Woody, we're going to first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just going to come over a little bit. Leave some room for his nose. Right here, draw another circle. And then let's come inside the circle and we're going to draw another circle, a smaller one. Then I'm going to come in here with a small circle and highlight and shade the rest in. And then same thing over here. There, have his eyes in. Now let's come above his eye, we're gonna draw his brow. So say about right here, I'm gonna start because it kind of slants up. So right here, just gonna draw a curve that comes up. You come in here and thicken it. And same thing over here. So we come from this side, just slant down. And then let's come in between the eyes and we're going to draw a nose. So it's just going to be a small curve right here, right in between. I felt he needed a nose. <laughs> and then let's come underneath that nose and we're going to give him a smile. So about right here, start and kind of curve up a little bit, cap it off. And right here, add a deeper curve and connect. So we have his face in now. Let's, I mean his eyes and his mouth, let's go and draw his face. So I'm going to come where his eyes are, come out a little bit. So about right here I'll start. And I'm just going to start to go around his eyes. So about right there we're going to draw a really long U. So come down. Here we'll go past his mouth area. Come all the way down. So about right here I'll start to Bring it in. And connect. There. And so then let's bring this up even higher above his brow area. So say about right here. We're pretty even on both sides. So then I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve. Then from there, let's draw his hair. So I'm going to come to the side right here. Just add a curve. And kind of like in the, where his eyes are. I'll bring it in. So same thing over here. All right there, and then just bring it in. And then right in the center right here, we're going to draw a curve that comes down. It kind of waves up. There, now it doesn't look so weird, right? <laughs> now let's draw his ears. So kind of where his eyes are, we're going to pop out a curve for his ears. Let's come in here for some details. So it's just a curve and another curve. So let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to give myself some points. So I know that's about right here. Once again, just a curve and connect. And curve. There. So then now let's draw his cowboy hat. We're gonna come, say a start about right here, and we're gonna aim towards to come back and the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go up with my curve and about right here I'm gonna round it off and dip down towards the center. I'm gonna dip it down and now I'm gonna start to go up. So just like the other side, go up and so about right there. Curve it and we're going to aim back towards here. There. And now for the top. So we're going to come, make sure it's either smaller or the same size as where his head is. So I'm just going to imagine this coming up. So about right here, I'll draw the top of his cowboy hat. So I'm going to go up and I'm just going to give it some angles. Soften angles coming down and down. And if you like for some details, you can come here and draw some stitches, the stitch um, line. So just come up and curve. So maybe I'll just do a few curve. 
So it just looks like the stitches on his hat. There. Okay, so there. Now I'm done with his face. Let's um, draw his body. So we're going to come to the center once again. I'm going to come right under his chin and I'll just draw a curve. And then let's draw a little hanky that he's wearing on around his neck. So about right there, connect it with a curve. And so this is going to be about my center. So I'm going to come to the center right here and we're going to draw a collar. So two angle lines and let's bring it up. So we have a curve that goes up. And so then now let's come here and draw his shoulders. Okay, so then before we finish that, let's come and draw a little tail right here. One and I'll tuck in another one. Okay, so then from there, let's start to um, figure out his vest and his shirt. So let's see here. I'm just going to come about right here and I'm going to draw a curve. So it's going to come down pretty low and then we're going to draw an angle line that kind of comes in. So this is kind of the beginning of his vest and from there we're going to come with this curve and go ahead and just connect it. So same thing on this side and connect. So for some details you can come in here, draw a line, some curves all the way around. So same thing over here. What I forgot <laughs> in my uh, rush right here, there's a star right here. So, oh my goodness, I forgot to draw the star. So I'm gonna backtrack right here and I'll just go ahead and erase it on the computer. But I want you to see, I'm gonna draw a star right here for his sheriff badge. So it belongs right here. I'm so sorry, totally forgot about that. Okay, and then you know what? I'm gonna take my whiteout pen here, just so you can see it better. There. Ta-da! I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, all fixed. So then now from there, let's come down right here. Then we're gonna draw kind of his waist area. And oh, before I forget again, I'm gonna come in here and just wobble some lines and shade it in. So it's kind of like the cowhide. So it's just a random shape. It's all up to you. So maybe here. Okay, there. So then now let's come about right here and we're gonna go ahead and connect it. And then let's come in here for some details. I'm going to come in this area. So it's going to be a straight line down very lightly. I'm going to draw the button. Another straight line down. And another button. And down. And then let's come out here. We're going to start to draw his belt. So the first thing we want to do is draw an oval right here in the center for his buckle. I'm going to add a heart right here just because <laughs> make it my drastic cute witty and then let's go ahead and um, connect it. So thicken our belt here. So on this side it's nice and simple. Just go ahead and connect it. Then add a little belt loop right here on both sides. And then on this side he has this holster so I'm going to come right here pop this out a tiny bit. I'm going to add a little curve right here and I'm going to draw his 
gun holster right there. But before I angle that, let's come back right here. So let's say about right here, I'm just gonna draw a line. And add two lines right there in the center. And we're gonna start to draw his legs. So I'm gonna come out from that center. So now this is starting to be his leg area. So about right there. Okay, so then now we can finish the holster. Let's bring this down, give it a little angle, and tuck it in. There. Hope I didn't make that too complicated. So then now let's go ahead and finish his legs. So we're going to bring it pretty long because Woody is very long. So let's bring this all the way down. And about in this area, I'm going to come out a little bit and come in. Kind of like where his knee area out and in. Out and in. If you're not comfortable doing that, just go ahead and go straight down. But we're still aiming towards the bottom. So the reason I did this is because in this area where you went out, we're going to connect it with a curve. And then in here, we're going to draw two stitch crease lines. Just to make him look more like a doll. <laughs> and then come down. There. Okay, so then in this area, we're going to start to draw his boots. But before I do that, let's come back up to his arms. So let's say, um, let's draw this side first. We're going to come out and his hands are on his hips in this area. So let's come back up here. And we're going to come down with a slight curve in this area. Come in and connect it right in this area and then we're going to bend it in and right here we're going to stop add a cuff so we're still aiming towards this area and his hand so it's just an angle and an angle and you can add a button right here if you like. So right here his hand is down. So we're going to come down with this curve in this area. Come down. And once again, just like his feet, I'm going to pop it out a little bit. So it's going to flare out a little bit and then come in. Flare out and come in. So then where it flares out right here, just lightly draw a curve. And then let's bring this in, finish it. So it's going to be kind of behind the holster. And so his arms about right here, about right here, connected. Add a cuff. And his fingers. Thumb. And fingers. And then right here, can add a button circle so when you're coloring you can just draw in all the plaid the darker lines and then um, let's go down to his feet so about right in this area I'm going to start to draw a slight V for his boot so I'm going to work on this boot first curve it around and let's bring this down and Come out and connect. So for some details, I'm going to come in here with a line and let's see here. So for strap, and so same thing over here. So once again, curve down and up, around. So in the same area, and I'm going to go out. I always hate drawing this leg most. <laughs> it's always harder for me, this angle right here. <laughs> See? Okay, I'm going to pop it out more. And then right here, same thing, the buckle. 
And right here, I'm going to add the spur. So just an indication of it. So it kind of circle in the back on both sides. And detail right here. So there, I hope you love how Woody turned out and inspires you to draw it too. If you love Toy Story, please make sure to check out my Toy Stories playlist. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Q videos. See you later.